Okay, my next story is going to piss a lot of you guys off. I might see that number drop down to zero here in about two seconds come up because I'm about to talk about a couple heroes here. These are just a couple guys I emulate, and I'm still proud of these guys. I'm not bashing them. I'm holding them accountable. Now, I just want to make that clear before I start with what I had to say about Lee Camp and Jimmy Dore. All right. These two are starting to sound more and more like the insane progressive. They love to bash the Dems and promote Dem exit because it's popular and what people want to hear. You know, people are hurt and that's what they want to hear about. It's how crooked the Dems are and how, look at, look at this, look at, you know, I watched him today and he's talking about Senator Gephardt from Missouri, my old senator, and how he's a lobbyist now and he works for the Dems and he's blocking single payer. All right, yes, that's happening. But these are the people we got to fucking get rid of. You know, I mean, Where's the plan, Jimmy? What should people do, Lee? I mean, yes, the Democratic Party is corrupt to the core, but where are we going from here, guys? I mean, what's the plan? I'm open to hear it. You guys are smarter than have more political experience than I do. So tell me the plan. I'm waiting for the plan part. All I hear about is how dirty the Dems are and how we all need to leave and take our ball and go home. You know, are we going to vote our way out of a rigged election? I don't hear either one of you talking about election reform you know, or addressing the problems there. You do talk about how things are rigged, but where are your solutions? You know, I mean, you guys are pumping for ratings too. And, you know, don't bullshit a bullshitter. I could sit here and talk about Dem exit and how dirty the Dems are and see my feed drop to five people. I could do that because I know that's what people want to hear. Okay. But in the politics part of this, guys, which I've told you a hundred times is a small part. It's about 15%. In the politics part, it is unrealistic for us to expect not to get our hands dirty. Okay, you're going to have to get your hands dirty and play in the mud a little bit until we fix things to a level where you can have three to seven parties. You know, I think what we need first off is to be pushing right now, you know, three years out from the election for massive, massive election reform. I personally think we need to be pushing for a paper ballot system like they use in Europe and Germany. That's my personal preference. Now, if you want, I can link some stuff up here about that. Because if we don't fix the fact that these machines are rigged and all the gerrymandering, if we don't massively attack election reform before 2018 even, but 2020, definitely. If we don't do that, then none of this is going to matter. You cannot vote your way out of a rigged election, and it's unrealistic to tell people that you can. And Jill and Ajamu also, I'm going to throw them in the pot too. They should be pushing for that as well. Because they know their votes were stolen. They know the election was rigged. They don't deny that. But where is the talk of election reform? Where is the talk of where we need to go? Where is the plan? You know, don't tell me how bad the Democrats are. I know that. We need to unseat them. But we need to fix the elections to do it. Without starting there, we have nothing. And from there, what's the rest of my plan? I think that we, at first, have to take over the Democratic Party. You have two parties recognized in our elections. There will only be two parties on the debate stage. There will only be two parties that really get their votes counted. These machines did not count the green votes in the last election. I know that for a fact because mine weren't counted. So since that's a fact that we all know, and they even acknowledge that the machines can be rigged at this point, which means they know that they've, they've always known they could be rigged. Now they're blaming Russia, but it was them. They just didn't do a good enough job. And they didn't rig it enough because we really held our ground and did what we said we were going to do. And they thought we were bluffing. But enough of us weren't, so Hillary lost. Trump became president. Don't think they're not going to try and do that shit again. It's unrealistic to think that they'll give up just because they almost got caught. They don't give a fuck that they almost got caught. They're going to walk scot-free in this DNC case. I don't know how the judge is going to rule on it. He's going to have to say that voting doesn't matter because they basically admitted it and say it over and over again that they did rig it, and it doesn't matter that they rigged it. And there's nothing you can do about that. They don't have to follow their bylaws. They're more like suggestions. You know, they're not really rules. They're more like suggestions. So that judge is in an awkward spot. He's got to get up there and tell and deliver a ruling that says that voting doesn't matter in America. I wouldn't want to have to give that ruling if I was a judge. All that being said, I love Jimmy Dore. He's my favorite. And I love Lee Kemp. I never miss Redacted Tonight. I love both of these guys. Now, we always want to hold Bernie accountable. I think we can hold our journalists accountable, too. And if I fuck up, I hope somebody will come to me and be like, hey, Sean, what you just did there, that was fucked up. And this could have been the moment. Tell me. I'm open to hearing it. 
I know that I'm not always right. Matter of fact, I'm wrong quite often. So when I am, I hope you'll tell me about myself. And I hope that Lee and Jimmy understand if they watch this. No, no, no delusions in my head that this will reach them. I'm small fries right now. But if they do, know that I respect both of you and know that I emulate both of you. And I hope to get to your level one day. I'm not bashing you. I just want you to tell people what they need to do. Because these people listen to you and they're hurt. So they're listening to you about how crooked the Dems are, which is true. But tell us where do we go from here? You got to tell people where we go from here. You can't just say, fuck the Dems, let's take our ball and go home. Or we'll all go green. Well, how are we going to do that? We need election reform. Now let's keep it on track. Let's really tell people how to win here if you want to tell them to fuck the Dems. If we're going to fuck the Dems, we got to have election reform first. Otherwise, we got to take over that party. That's the only way. When you show Bernie some election reform, maybe he'll go People's Party. But until then, that's his only path. His path is not as clean as our path. He's got to get his hands dirty. We don't. Except when we play politics. And that's only 15% of the time. This is the lowest number of people that have been in any of my live feeds since I first started this show. And I don't give a shit because what I just said was true and I'll say it again. I'd say it to either one of their faces and I would hope that they would say the same to me if I started fucking around and sounding like the same progressive. I hope anybody will say something to me if I ever start babbling on like a crazy person like, like she's doing and that's where they're heading. They're heading that way and they're doing it for the same reason that CNN pushes Russia. It's good for ratings. It's good for clicks. This is bad for clicks. See? Pointing in the wrong direction. But see? It's bad for clicks. Truth is bad. Truth hurts. And I will hurt your feelings sometimes. Matter of fact, I'm doing a whole month of it on my Facebook page. The Triggered Meme Series. I hope you guys are having fun with that. 